My penguin friend from the future. How have you been, buddy? Whack. That's news. I thought everybody already knew Social Security would fail eventually. Huh? No. I was planning on living off of it in my old age, aren't you? Maybe if it were 1945. Back then, there were 41.5 people paying into the system for every retiree living off of monthly Social Security. But as of 2010, the number dropped to 2.9 people paying in for every one person cashing checks. Since then, it's only gotten worse. What used to be a pyramid is now just a really expensive block. And yet, even though the math doesn't add up, it still created terrible incentives. Like how I totally forgot to save any money for retirement. Oh, whack. Yeah. Social Security made a lot of people think they didn't need to save money for retirement on their own. And according to the Center for Budget and Policy Priorities, about half of all seniors rely on Social Security for 50% of their income, and for close to one in four seniors, it's at least 90%. Even though most people pay into the system for their entire lives, the expectation that we'll all receive sufficient retirement benefits is totally unrealistic. Uh-oh. With people living a lot longer than they did in the 1940s, way less money is being stretched out over significantly more time. So whatever benefits retirees still get in the next 20 years probably won't even be enough to live on. Wah! Quack, 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 quack. But not all is lost, Bob. Social security may not be there for us, but by working hard and making the right investments, we can take our retirement into our own hands. You're right. I'll start today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and check out fee.org for more educational content. Thank you so much.